Hey everybody, this is Corey from For the Love of Gaming, and I'm here to talk about the Kingdoms of Amalar Reckoning demo that just hit Xbox Live and will be hitting PSN in just a few days. So Kingdoms of Amalur is a game that we saw last year at E3. Um, to be honest, it wasn't a game that was really on my radar, but when they announced that they're going to have a demo, I said, all right, I'll check it out. So, I mean, the story-wise, I'm getting kind of a Lord of the Rings feel where there's a giant battle going on between two different races and one ultimately one's domination. But you play as a character that was thought to be dead but was somehow resurrected. Um, and that's pretty much where the demo dumps you in, and it's the start of the game. So you make your own character, and then you run around talking to people in a Mass Effect style dialogue system. Um, but other than that, the game plays a lot like, I, I'd like to say it plays a lot like Fable, and that's not ne necessarily a bad thing. I was never particularly happy with the Fable series, but I kind of liked the magic system, and I liked how it was a very basic combat style. And that's exactly how this game feels. Um, you know, it's, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, and there's no turn based or anything like that. It's just kind of a hack and slash with bows and arrows and magic and sneaking, and you can just sneak up on people and kind of destroy them, kind of similar to like Oblivion or Skyrim, I guess I should say. Um, but I mean, it, it's a lot of fun. I, I was impressed. This, like I said, this wasn't a game that I, I was really looking forward to, but it's definitely a game I, I really want to get now. The leveling system is really deep. I mean, you can pretty much pick between the basic three of Rogue, Mage, or Warrior, uh, but you can mix and match. So, I mean, you can make a really good warrior that can use, you know, bows and arrows as well as daggers if you wanted to. You can have a really good warrior that uses uh, stabs, but it's also really good at hand-to-hand. -hand. So, that part of it's really cool, and I also say it plays like Fable because, to me, I'm getting the vibe that it's an open world, but you're on a linear path. But there's some stuff on the side that you can do. It's nothing to the degree of, like, a, a Skyrim to where you can just go anywhere you want whenever you want. And, and that's that's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you want a more linear experience. So definitely a game, I, like I said, I was not looking forward to it. But you definitely go play this demo. It's really cool because once you get through the tutorial, I guess you could say, you just have 45 minutes to do whatever you want. If you want to, you can just go talk to people. If you want to, you can just you know try to level up and try to get everything higher so you can see what else the game offers. Or you can just run around and do the main quests and not really worry about anything. So it's just 45 minutes to do whatever you want. So definitely, I mean, check it out and definitely subscribe to our YouTube page and write us and let us know what you think about Kingdoms of Amalur. Mm-hmm. <laughs>